right, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make yogurt step by step, and then I'll show how I strain it and everything that I do. In the past videos, I've only kind of made them short and quick, so I really want to take the time to break it down. So I've seen other YouTube videos on how to make yogurt. I think some of the other videos they talk about removing the seal on your Instapot. They also talk about heating up the milk a certain amount, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think this is probably the easiest recipe. I make it pretty simple, not too hard. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try it. The first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is milk, okay? This is the milk I buy at Costco, the A2 organic whole milk. You can use any milk you want, but I just prefer to use organic milk. I have used regular milk, whole milk, half and half, non-organic and organic, and even heavy cream, they all work the same. It's just whole milk comes out, doesn't come out as thick. When you strain it, half and half comes out very thick and uh, heavy cream just comes out ridiculously thick. So I prefer now, I think, the, the whole milk or the half and half. Um, the next thing would be is that you're going to need organic inulin powder. You can buy this on Amazon. It's 24 bucks, $25. Uh, and you're going to need um, four tablespoons for um, a half a gallon of milk. Sometimes I'll add a little more. The more inulin powder I've noticed that I've used, the, the better the yogurt. You know, the bacteria is getting fed. I like it that way. The next thing you're gonna need is, you're either gonna need tablets, which I've shown in previous videos before, or you can use already made yogurt. So the one I'm gonna use today is the kefir, and I think it's a Siggy yogurt. So this I had turmeric and some cinnamon. You know, the turmeric and the cinnamon, yeah, it's great, but you know, the yellow, I don't really like the way it looks, so I'm just gonna make it without the turmeric and the cinnamon. And then I also have whey. I've added whey before, and it just makes the whole process a lot easier. If you don't have whey, you don't have to use it. You can use any um, yogurt that you want. I've used the tablets, the L. Ruderite tablets. I've used um, other probiotics that are like digestive probiotics. I've used regular Greek yogurt. I've used everything. I've used kefir, um, anything really. You can make it all in the Instapot. So once again, you'll need organic milk, inulin powder, and if you have some the whey from your previous batch or yogurt or the probiotic pills, I'll make another video on how to do it with the probiotic pills. I think I already have it as a matter of fact, so I might not do that. Just take the milk and I pour it all in. Remember, you can use half and half, you can use heavy cream if you really like it thick. I would go with heavy cream. I'm like talking about like ice cream thick. It's ridiculously thick. It tastes really good. So once you're done with that, empty it out. I mean, uh, throw it out. Then you're gonna need the inulin powder. I already go ahead, I have a, a measuring tool here. It's two tablespoons. So I put two of these and a little bit, just half of one of these, so around maybe four to five tablespoons of inulin powder. All you're gonna do is pour it in here, and that's it. And then you're gonna mix it. Now what you really wanna do here is you wanna make sure the inulin powder will stick, it'll create little balls. You just wanna make sure that you mix it as well as possible. Okay. If you feel anything stuck on the bottom, just make sure to kind of scrape it out there. You will kind of feel that. I like to make it so that it bubbles a little bit. This is what I'm talking about. Like a, I don't know if you guys can see here, but it, the little bubbles right there. So that's how I like to do it. Just kind of stir it, stir it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put four tablespoons of the whey and I have it labeled I think the weight can last up to six months in your refrigerator. One, two, so a total of four tablespoons. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take as much as I can of this yogurt that I had and I'm gonna pour it in there. So here's two, tablespoons and four. So throw a little 
extra in there. It never hurts. I've never really followed the recipe like to the teeth. So just throw it in there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix. So I felt right now that the it was a little the inulin powder was stuck down there, so all I'm doing is mixing. Just make sure it's nice and mixed. And there was one yogurt batch where I just threw the pills in there. I didn't even crush them how uh, it's recommended, and it worked just fine. So from what I've read online, the longer that you ferment it, you let the bacteria grow, the, 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 I think it's, it doubles every hour. Do for the Instapot, I just press yogurt. You can lower it if you want, but I like to put 36 hours and 30 minutes. And that's it. I'm gonna stir it for a little longer. Double check to see if there's any anything stuck down there. It looks like it's well mixed. You could put a little cinnamon powder. It gives it a nice smell to be honest with you, but that's about it. There you go. I guess I will throw some cinnamon powder. I like the way it smells. I'll measure it and just throw it in there. Mmm, that smells delicious. So it looks like it's all mixed in. The next thing would be is that, again, I've seen some other YouTube videos where they talk about removing the seal. Honestly, I don't do that. And the yogurt comes out great. So the only thing I do do is that I make sure that it's on venting. That's it, it's not sealed. Uh, that's it. And then I leave it on here for 36 hours. So on the next part, I'll show you what I do after it's done, after 36 hours and 30 minutes, how I strain it and how I pack it, okay? See you soon. This is the part where the Instapot did what it had to do. So now we're gonna need some other materials in order to strain the yogurt. What you're gonna need is two strainers. Well, this is how I do it, but I have a big glass bowl, okay? This one is a two quart nylon strainer that I leave on top of the glass. And then what I do is that I get a little bag, a strainer. They're both 100 micron. I'll put that on the link below. And I leave this on top of here. And as I pour out the yogurt in here, I let it strain. So basically this is gonna separate the yogurt and the whey. We're gonna save the whey for future batches and we're gonna keep the yogurt to consume. And let me show you what the yogurt looks like. Now I'm gonna slowly just open it. I'm gonna remove it as slowly as I can. Now all those brown spots, that's the cinnamon. Mm, smells great. So what you're gonna see is that I'm gonna take the yogurt here, so I can put a, a better angle here. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna get my glass bowl and my 100 micron nylon food strainer as close as possible. And then what I'll do here is that I'll just start pouring in the yogurt into the strainer. Now you'll notice that's yogurt. Little by little, start grabbing it and putting it in.
then at the very end, I just like to drip it in. Get the Instapot out of the way. So I make a little, a little knot here. Then I make one more knot here. So that it holds it in place. Make two nuts. Okay. Let's leave this here for a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it here. If you don't have anything like this, you could just leave it hanging out like that, but I like to hang it just like this. This gravity helps. And there you go. Whey separates, it gives us like a rich, thick yogurt. Not only that, whey is um, hyperinsulinic, meaning it spikes insulin like crazy, right? So uh, you want to try to get it out as much as a yogurt if you are uh, if you're trying to watch your metabolic health. The yogurt has been straining for eight hours now. So here's a yogurt, and then here is the whey. Now I'm going to show you how I put it in a bucket. And there you go. I'm gonna wash my hands, but this is the yogurt right here. Check it out. Nice. What I'll do is that I'll flatten out the yogurt. Just flatten it out, make it look kind of nice. Doesn't really matter, I guess, but that's how I keep it. And there you go. That's your final product. Now I'm going to show you what to do with the whey. Oh, and by the way, when you put this in the fridge for 30 minutes, it gets even thicker. So it may be really smooth right now, but it's going to get really thick once you put it in the fridge, at least for 30 minutes. For this part, you're going to need a bottle with a seal. I prefer these. So leave it open, take a funnel. Let me move the camera a little bit. Okay. Take the strainer, put it to the side, and then as much as you can, put the whey in. I'm just gonna spill a little bit, just from experience. And the rest I just throw away. I don't really need it, so. You could drink it. I don't like to again, because it's hyperinsulinic, meaning that it spikes your insulin levels like crazy, so that's why I choose not to do it. And then that's it. You have your way. 
Then on the side note, I just label the way. The date, and it's good in the fridge for up to six months. You can reuse it. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now you can see my terrible penmanship. Look at that. Kiefer Ziggy Way 286. So this is the end product. Now, if you wanted to keep all the whey inside, you can keep it inside. And when you mix it in, it creates some more kefir-like yogurt, which is like the liquid form. But I prefer it this way. So again, I left it in for the, in the fridge for a while, not the entire 30 minutes, but for a little bit. And then you just taste it. That's it, and you're done. Seal it, and then you can make future batches with the whey, the yogurt, you're good to go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, most of all. I'm a big believer in making your own yogurt. It's a lot more nutritious than the store-bought. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any other ideas or anything else you wanna share, or anything I could do different. All right, take care, you guys, bye. And I'm going to take this yogurt and I'm going to start pouring it into the bag.